YouTube world. I um, have been wanting to film some like creative uh, style videos for a little bit. Um, and this is going to be my first uh, one. I just um, have a project that I want to work on and I figured now was a good time to start. So um, I've got a very uh, jerry-rigged um, tripod set up. I have a little small tripod that's currently stacked on three pots of mine. <laughs> a cast iron skillet, a uh, casserole dish, and a big soup pot. I have them all stocked up as a little, or uh, uh, stacked up on like a little, uh, like a little tower. So anyway, this is going to be my um, project and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing in a second. But first I want to start with this. So this was actually an old Happy Planner, uh, planner cover that I had. And it, um, was the one, if you're familiar with Happy Planner, also if you hear some crackling in the background, my son has the um, fireplace, like a like a digital fireplace on right now that he's watching and pretending to set his own fires. So he's, he's having fun over there. Anyway, so this was an old Happy Planner cover. It was, um, if you're familiar with Happy Planner, it was the one that was gold with mint on the inside. And I, uh, I just was feeling something different. So this I painted, I don't know if you can tell, and I'm kind of standing next to my only good source of, uh, or rather I'm standing in front of my good source of light. So anyway, if you can't see the color super well, that's that's why. But um, anyway, I painted it all, uh, gosh, I want to say I painted it black, but I don't, I had to, I think I painted it more of a, like a purplish gray. That's what I did. I did like a purplish gray and then I actually painted over it with a sparkly purple eyeshadow that I never wear because I don't really wear makeup very much anyway and I definitely don't wear sparkly purple eyeshadow, but I had some and so I'm like, oh, this is a great way to use it and then I Mod Podged it with, uh, Mod Podge obviously, uh, the satin one, the satin gloss and then I used a paint pen to write um, this and I always butcher his name, Fyodor Dostoevsky, uh, uh, the Russian author. And I, uh, the quote, one of the quotes that he's well known for is beauty will save the world. And I love that quote. And I wanted this to be my writing, like my fiction writing, my creative writing, like binder book thing. And on the inside, oh, right there, you can kind of see where the mint color um, is, uh, coming out, like obviously I didn't Mod Podge it very well right there, but you can kind of see where it's cracking there. So that obviously is something that I didn't really take into consideration. But anyway, I painted the inside black and you can probably see in a couple spots, I, I went way, like I tried to get as much of it painted as I could, but you can kind of see under there, right there where there's like some of the, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't bother with that inside stuff. But um, anyway, and then this was a mixed media book that I just painted the cover. And I've got some, uh, I kind of put little sticky notes into where I wanted to include some things, but I obviously haven't used it yet. But I did put some, um, you know, I can go through this at a later date, but I put some like writing quotes and stuff that I've had forever, like on boards and things like that. Um, and then I put some more in the back. So anyway, this, uh, I have not really used, oh, and then I put a little gym over the, a little sticky gym thing over the, um, Oh, what's it called? The Happy Planner Heart logo. Anyway, so this was one project that I did and I really loved it. And I just haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. But all of that to say that I want to do um, a very similar thing with this. This is a, uh, it's a company I just learned about. Um, and to be honest, uh, I'm sure they make good products and so far I love this. Um, so if I ever need to buy something like this again, I'll, I'll definitely uh, look at them for at least a cheap option. Um, this was, I want to say 18 or $20, uh, something around there. And, um, the, the company is called Paper Junkie and they're based out of California, I think. Anyway, this was the only, I was looking for something that could be like a planner case that wasn't as bulky as the, um, Happy Planners, uh, big size, uh, deluxe cover. Um, cause I don't use the happy planner. I used to, that's a whole story. I'll talk about that in another, uh, another video at some point, perhaps if I continue making these, but this one, um, I wanted something with three ring binder already in it. 
And so this was the only one I could find that had a three ring binder already in it. It's a one inch and then it still kind of has that same feel of like a planner cover or planner case. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it in the, in the frame of the camera, but you know, anyway. So I, uh, what I'm gonna do is paint it and I have not officially decided what color I'm gonna paint it. And I have not officially decided what quote, if any, that I'm gonna put on the front. Um, but uh, I know I kind of wanna stick with, where'd all my paints go? I kind of wanna stick with a theme of like purples or blues. Um, <laughs> my son's over there so bored. He always pretends to film YouTube videos and now I'm actually doing one and he's like, why can't I play? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's over there being a goof. Okay. Um, anyway, I want to kind of stick with a purple theme. So these are some, uh, purple is my favorite color, but I also love blue. I like cool, cool colors. Um, so this one is, a. Uh, I really am liking this one. It's called Wisteria Blue, and it's just like a really pale bluish purple. I really love it. Also, my dog's hair is stuck to it because why wouldn't my dog's hair be stuck to it? Anyway, this this is a lilac. It's a little warmer than I think I'm going for. Um, this was a really pretty rose color. It looks just very dusty, and I like it a lot. Um, this is called Winter Plum from, again, Craft Smart, which is, I believe, the Michaels brand of um, paint. And it's like a very, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a very dusty purple as well. Um, uh, not as well, but dusty as dusty as well, sorry. Um, anyway, I really liked these two colors together, uh, the rose and the winter plum, but I also really wanna use the wisteria. And I think that those colors all are kind of what I'm going for. Then I have, if I wanna add a neutral in there, um, I've got this vanilla. And it's like a, it's not as yellow as ivory. Um, uh, and it's not as bright as white. So I thought it was a good in between. And then um, this is lavender, which I really like, but I don't think I'm gonna use that either. And then I've got this really great, uh, um, it's called Purple Pearl. And it's like a metallic lavender. And I know that the camera's probably not gonna do it justice, especially just looking through the bottle. But it's a really pretty like purple metallic. Uh, like a like a lavender metallic almost, and then I've got this uh, from Martha Stewart. I got this for another project a while ago, but it's a rose gold paint, um, rose gold acrylic paint, and it's uh, it's really pretty. It's a little bit more gold than I typically would like, but I I don't know if I'm going to use it. I honestly don't think I am um, going to use it, but I grabbed it just in case. So what I'm going to do is paint this and I'll stop the video here in a second and then I'm gonna film me just kind of speeding it up, you know, a sped up version um, of me uh, painting it. And first I'll probably tape down um, the uh, pin loop um, because I think I'm gonna leave that black. Uh, I don't have any fabric paint and I don't want it to look tacky, uh, more tacky than I'll probably already make it look. And then um, uh, these rings, I'll cover up those too. So I will be back momentarily. Um, it took me probably about five minutes, if even if even about three. It didn't take me too long to um, do, sorry, I'm fixing my my little makeshift tin foil uh, <laughs> art space. Anyway, it didn't take me too long to uh, do this. I only had this I only have this big thick tape, and I didn't want to waste any of my washi tape. And now I'm seeing a small part. Um, so I kind of felt like I wasted a lot of tape. I probably could have done a better job of. Um, Huh? Yeah, I'm recording right now. Um, uh, anyway, I probably could have used a little less, but I was just trying to go fast. And so really just what you want to do with something like this is push it under. Make sure it's just really protecting. Um, you want it easy to be able to still get out, but, um, uh, or, you know, to pull the tape off, I mean, but you want to make sure it's in there so you're not leaving a bunch of blank spaces, but also so that you're not getting, um, you know, you know, anyway. I, uh, I don't obviously have a plan for this video, so I'm a little all over the place. Anyway, so now I'm gonna figure out, and then this I did as, as best as I could. I will probably, honestly, and even there you can see it's quite a bit of black right there. Um, not horrible, and I'll just be, try to be really careful, but 
Uh, now I'm going to start painting and the fun part about this is you just kind of toss it on and start going. So I think I'm honestly just gonna kind of do a mix of these paints. I really just am feeling those paints right now. And real quick also, the reason that I'm doing this is honestly, I don't dislike gold necessarily. I am just not a gold. I need a little bit of, um, while I appreciate neutrals, I am just in a season of life right now uh, and this will probably sound a little silly, but I'm just in a season of life right now where I'm kind of reconnecting with um, just, you know, acknowledging who I am and, and as a 33-year-old wife and mama and just really figuring out, um, just learning how to really be comfortable being me and, and all the different aspects of me over the years. Um, the life of a what? The life of a fire, yes. Once again, still watching the fire video. Um... Anyway, so I am just going to, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not that I don't like neutrals, but they only had this in, in this gold color. And because I knew I had had so much fun painting the happy planner one that I showed at the beginning of the video, um, I'm just learning how to, you know, be creative, I guess, get back in touch with my creative self. I have always been a creative, um, but I have really neglected it for a long time. And I guess that's what I was trying to say. I'm just really trying to reconnect with that part of me. And so uh, I've been in a very creative, uh, I've been into like creative planning for several years now. Um, uh, and then I got more into like, uh, I would I do my journaling and, and planning in like a sketchbook and that, we're coming into a season of life where uh, that my planning might have to change. Um, hold on, Bubba. My planning might have to change a little bit based on um, some upcoming changes that we are anticipating. And so uh, I wanted to get something like this. And I know I'm being really chatty right now. But anyway, um, I personally like chatty videos, but I understand not everybody does. Um, so if I know enough about technology, I can always put a timestamp in. So anyway, all of that to say, we are going to, hold on, Baba. We are going to um, start painting and I am just going to go for it. in not a lapse but like a weird uh cut in between the time in, in the middle of the time lapse it is because um i thought i was filming for a few minutes there and i was not so that's why uh it, there's kind of i don't know if you even noticed it but i i knew it obviously happened so i wanted to mention it there was a brief cut because i realized i was not filming when i was and in that part that i got cut out i kind of just showed how i went underneath the pen loop a little bit and stuff like that. So anyway, um, this is what I've got right now. I have not put Mod Podge on it yet and I just added some more, uh, a piece of wax paper and a little bit more tin foil. I'm gonna talk in Cause this. I'm, you're gonna talk in my video? Um, cause I uh. You have more minutes in Whoa, okay, let me finish this and then I'm gonna go back to time lapse, okay? Um, so this is, that is a, a spaghetti spoon. Um, all right, honey, honey, thank you. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, uh, do, um, okay, honey, thank you. Please be respectful. Um, so I'm, Declan, please be this respectful. This has to be in No, Baba. All right, had to have a moment of talking about not putting spaghetti, uh, spaghetti spoons in videos. All right, so this is, um, the inside and I'm obviously going to start painting it. Um, you can tell that a little bit of paint got on the inside and that's fine. Like I, um, and here's where, I don't know if you can see in, in the inside right there. Sorry, I have yet to perfect my, um, video, uh, 
framing. Anyway, um, so now I'm going to start painting in here and I'll do time lapse again. Uh, and then I will use the blow dryer to spray it and then I will do Mod Podge here in a minute. Although it feels really nice without the Mod Podge and this is my, my struggle. So with this one, um, I use, like I said, the uh, satin, like it's more of a glossy um, Mod Podge. And so I don't know if you can tell, but it's just more shiny. And I don't mind that look, but it's not m my favorite. Like I prefer more of a matte. Um, so this is the Mod Podge that I just bought yesterday um, with, uh, and if you hear noise, that's just my son playing. Um, uh, this is the matte Mod Podge. And so I am hoping, I don't know, it's tough because I wanna put the sealant on it, obviously, because then, it, Declan, please stop, Bubba. Um, well, it's just kinda noisy. Just, just quiet down a little bit while I'm doing this. Um, and so then, but it feels nice. Like I like, like this already is kind of matte in and of itself. But I also would feel bad if I didn't add the sealant and um, in, then it started cracking or breaking or, you know, just not protected. But it does feel, I really like the way this feels, uh, not having the Mod Podge on it. The only other thing I would say, though, is that um, one thing that I noticed about this is it does, some, and it's gotten better because I've kind of just scratched it a lot to kind of roughen it up, but it would stick, like, and even now, I don't know if you can hear it, but... I guess not really, but sometimes you can hear, okay, not, not really anymore, but for a while it was almost like that, it was, almost sounded like you were peeling it off, like something, if it was like sweaty and you peel or like wet and you peel it off of something, almost felt sticky kind of, like it would stick to surfaces, not horribly, but it was enough to where it kind of, it wasn't a huge deal, but it kind of bothered me, so I would scratch it and try to like roughen it up so it wouldn't do that anymore, and it's gotten much better, um, and I would hate if, um, I think I just spit on that, <laughs> I would hate if uh, uh, I ruined this by putting putting Mod Podge on it and then it did that for a while. But I still think I'm going to do it. Anyway, all of that said, now I'm getting to the inside of this fine little thing. <laughs> Two days have passed since my little last uh, time lapse video. I, um, I, my phone got full of storage or whatever, so I ended up finishing the project without filming it. Um, but that's all right. It's just kind of a random little fun thing. So this, I wanted to show the final product, and I am in currently in my den um, filming this. This was the best light I have right now, um, so you can kind of see. Uh, there is my, there is the finished product. Um, I ended up doing kind of like what I did with my Happy Planner cover and I added a little bit of, the, uh, I had, once again, using up some old eyeshadow that I never wore and I never will. So <laughs> um, I mixed it into the Mod Podge and it was like more of a shimmery pink and I felt like it worked really well. So I obviously went with like a kind of a galaxy, well, galaxy quote unquote theme. Um, I, this was a paint pen I used, um, two paint pens, obviously silver and gold. And then uh, I had accidentally dropped like a, like a couple spots of the gold paint. And so I just kind of like, you know, shook it on there on each one and um, not on each one, uh, uh, around the front and the back. So um and then I did a little bit with the silver one too, just to kind of add a little something something to it. And I wasn't going to do gold, but then I ended up wanting to do, um, so it's kind of funny. This was actually supposed to just be like a crescent moon and I totally messed it up. So I just made it 
a planet and then I knew I had to use the gold to end up making um you know the rings uh and so I did that and then I ended up doing a crescent moon up here which I still messed up but I that's why it's darker purple up here because I just had to cover up my disaster but that's okay and then on the back I kind of just did like a little spirally type galaxy and I smeared some uh paint to make it kind of look more like I don't know like a, a comet or something anyway and yes, my galaxy is <laughs> leaves much to be desired, but that's okay. Um, and then uh, I left the little, um, oh, like, I don't know, the strap, I guess. Uh, I left that just like the wisteria blue color, and I put a little bit of the shimmery on there. You can see in the light, um, but I wanted to leave it mostly blue. And then uh, a quote um, from St. Simeon the Theologian. One human being is more precious to God than the entire cosmos. And I thought that was uh, not only a good reminder for everyday life um, to be uh, a Marian, not a Martha, um, but also, um, uh, uh, anyway, but also to, um, losing my train of thought, but also just, uh, I thought it went with the theme that I wanted to do kind of like a galaxy type theme or, you know, space, sky, whatever. And then inside... <laughs> Uh, I used that vanilla color, and earlier you probably noticed if you if you were watching the time lapse, um, uh, just because I know sometimes time lapses it's easy to to miss things, and I you couldn't really read what the um, things were anyway. But I had had that purple metallic, and at one point I added. You might even be able to eh, not really. At one point I added um, the uh, a little purple metallic because I thought maybe it would add some color into the middle. But it really didn't show up very well, and I was actually ended up I ended up being okay with that because um, uh, I actually really like the neutral, and you can tell it looks. I might want to say it actually. The Mod Podge actually is fine. I love. I will only ever use that matte Mod Podge from now on. That um, the satin is just too glossy for my taste, and like I said, it kind of did. You know, made it kind of sticky. So the matte is just fabulous I that's the only one I'll ever buy from now on um and then yeah you can tell like it's very cracked and like kind of um oh not not gloopy but like what I don't know what the word it's just you can just tell it, it <laughs> I added a lot of coats it was very hard to cover up the gold on the inside but that's okay there was a little part um this is washi tape and there's this little part right here I don't know if you can tell in the you can kind of tell it's like kind of raised up and just like cr not cracked but almost a little cracked and so I just put this purple washi tape there um, to just kind of cover it and I don't know add a little pop of color inside um, and I will one day maybe do a flip through of this this is still I'm still uh, kind of working through there but um anyway uh, this is a little Mario <laughs> my son loves Mario and so that reminds me of him this is uh, from the International Orthodox Christian Charities, just like uh, and FEMA, uh, just like a pre uh, preparedness thing. Um, and then, um, yeah. Anyway, and then I kind of ha I had this this uh, my basic monthly calendars, like my year at a glance and stuff, are sandwiched between these two galaxy. They're not vellum. I don't know what this is called. Thin specialty paper. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so one day, one day I'll do a flip through of this. I'm just still organizing right now, but I basically just wanted to show the, um, oh, and real quick, you can see I got, I got a lot of paint on the pin loop, but that's fine. I just left it as is. Um, so yeah, so that is the finished product and I love it. It's perfect for me. It's imperfect and that's why I kind of love it. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll, it'll, uh, serve me well with what I want to use it for. So, um, thank, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and, uh, yeah. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.